think that I just told them I wanted to import a whole bunch of drinks, actually. Yeah. So that's what they'll bring. There we go. The Metalsmith's Forge. The order is done. So let's check our stockpile. I want to check on these coins before we leave here. Where are you going? Come back, coins. Coffins, cloth, cut gems, blocks, cages, boxes. Is it by... Where is it? Damn it. I'm blind today. There we go. Adamantine. 322 Telesturdum Adamantine coins. This is a stack of 500 Telesturdum Adamantine coins from the year 322. This is the Adamantine currency of Telesturdum. On the front of the coin is an image of abandoned monasteries, and on the coin's back is a finely designed image of End Bendigali, the Aspen Dwarf and Dwarves. Id Bengali is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the Aspid dwarf Id Bengali to the position of king of the infallible towers in 124. Well, we don't have a king right now, unfortunately, our empire. We're just led by a queen, so I wonder what happened to Id. Maybe we should make some engravings and see if we can find out. There's the noble in our, his noble baby. Udostad and surrounding lands have been made a county. Finally. Some respect. The respect that we deserve. It is six fell site late spring. Still trying to get stuff for Invaser here. Um, I've got people making skins, gems, cutting them. I, I don't know. Do I need to make some stone blocks maybe? Um, let's see. We'll stop making coffers here. Make some blocks for this man. Maybe he doesn't have those. I'm not really sure. Looks like the catfish is currently cutting milk quartz. He's not only a brave warrior, he's also a delicate gem cutter. Oh well. We will see, um, I guess if we get any benefits for being made a county. Otherwise, I guess it's nice to have a new title. Did that change here? City Udoshushat. Min basements. We've been upgraded to a city then. Another quick update. Invasor, you've created Ashteshtamam, a Saflorite scepter. Let's see, is it worth anything? It's called the Cudgel Boil, valued at 170,400 dwarf bucks. It's got quite a description. This is a Safflerite Scepter. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with spaniel leather and encircled with bands of native aluminum and rubicel. This object is adorned with hanging rings of native aluminum and spaniel leather and menaces with spikes of Safflerite and flax fiber. On the item is an image of dwarves and red zircon. The dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of men basements by the fountain of permeances of the infallible towers in the early spring of 315. On the item is an image of Joku Seas Crowns, the Nord and Arachna silk. Joku Seas Crowns is traveling. The artwork relates to the journey of the Nord Joku to the hill of coils in 18 during the journey of Nord Joku Seas Crowns. And on the item is an image of three fearsome wings in spaniel leather. Well, now we know a little bit about Joku, finally. I'm about tired of my dwarves engraving him and making artwork related to him everywhere. Quit being infatuated with the Nord, your dwarves. Unless he did something really amazing we might find out about someday. No idea what the image of three fearsome wings is. No idea what that relates to. Gosh, a harpy has shown up for the first time in ages. And DJ LaPio just chopped it in half pretty much instantly. I think. Skeletal deer. No, where is the harpy? Quick, scan through the bodies here. We have one, two, three harpies and still that cave crocodile. 
So we got two harpies up there. They're swooping down at DJ Lapio, and he runs up after this one. What's your gear, Lapio? Bunch of silver, copper helm, copper short sword. Get those harpies. You strike that one down, three of them surround you on the edge. You do a spinning move off the edge and chop one's head off on your way down. Landing on the other one, you break its neck. You charge up the stairs with your dog there, I think, and strike that one down. And now you think it's time for a rest. You go rest, you've earned it. Conwise is sitting there just shaking his head. <sighs> Lapio, you show off. You're gonna get your own squad someday, I think. Let's see, what else do we have going on in the fort here? It is 4th Malachite Midsummer. And I'm trying to get all these bodies collected. I did turn on refuse collecting outside and I claimed all of the bodies. Maybe we can turn them into bone balls or totems or something. I've got craft shops set to do everything with bone. Decorate, make armor. Uh, chop those bodies up at the butcher shop. Let's see, let's designate some more of this to be dug out. They're starting to extract it faster and faster. And we could use all the wafers. Let's see, are they making them yet? No, we'll cancel the cobaltite and cancel that. Let's check our stockpile. How much adamantine have we mined and extracted? We have 37 wafers. And I'm sure that there's maybe something else. I think that I can, uh, I think that I did turn a bunch of it into thread as well, so I will be making robes for a couple people. Again, we'll see who gets those. Probably Lapio there, DJ will get one. He's, um, the first one to spill blood in quite some time. I don't have any idea what's up with this cave crocodile. I almost want to try to train a swimming team up there at the swimming pools. Like a little, a little dwarven seal team to go down there and tack that crocodile in the water. Do I have the swimming pool set up to train? Yep, and does Albinus Ash is trying to learn to swim there? You are a dabbling swimmer, dabbling your feet in right now, just up to your kneecaps, splashing around. Silent Seven, let's see, you. Mm, dabbling swimmer as well. Let's see, that's not anybody, lots not anybody. I'm trying to get all of these spears hooked up to the lever right now. And get all these stones crushed and ground to dust. So I won't have to worry about them. Other than that, um, the dwarves are still just training. Spending all their free time beating on these training dummies. Reading medical books. Practicing suturing on dummies and stuff. There goes the Baron. Professional swords dwarf now. And he's just wearing a bunch of tattered clothing. I don't have a big enough um, cloth industry to make clothing for the dwarves, unfortunately. And unless I draft them into the military, they won't put on the, the metal armor. I'd be fine with my civilians putting on armor. Is there a way you can make a, an, an outfit for your civilians? A uniform for your civilians? That would be neat. I want all my civilians in copper. Copper plate mail, 24 hours a day. Oh well, we'll let the dwarves get back to hauling stones and practicing their combat skills. Extracting the adamantine and making friendships at this point. Making relationships. God. Box McCloud, you just went insane for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe you were... I don't think you were having a mood. I don't remember you being in a mood. But you went berserk. Let's, let's see what's going on with you. You're about ready to start killing people. Altros is right next to you and a bunch of war dogs. I can't check your skills. Your inventory is copper, 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 copper short sword. A lead flask. Maybe the lead flask. It's driving you crazy. It finally poisoned you. You lunge at the war dog. 
slashing it. It bites on, the one behind grabs onto your leg and begins pulling you backwards. Looks like somebody showed up. Mean Melter shows up. I think you're in the middle of a equipment change as well. There goes Dundee. He's off duty apparently. Mean Melter charges after him. Somebody else shows up. TK421 is at his post. Daedric Dwarf, our legendary armor smith. Get him! And Box McCloud has bled to death. They finally strike him down. The recruit strikes the recruit in the lower body from the side with his copper buckler, bruising the muscle and bruising the stomach. Can I see how you died? Looks like they might have just bludgeoned you to death or something. Oh well, we'll claim all your stuff, Box McCloud. Hopefully you get to rest in peace. We'll bury you in a lead coffin as well. Looks like you hurt a couple war dogs. That dog's unconscious. You beat him down. That dog is beat up and winded. This dog is nauseous. He's going to be fine, though. Mean Melter's not hurt. And the Cucked. Oh, who was that? Was that TK? TK421? I think it was. Let me see real quick. Looks like TK421 got a... A name change for that. I don't see... I don't see that name, so yep, it must be him. Kills. Sabrek Orb Puzzled. The Shroom Dwarfette in 322. Ah. Dwarf Slayer. It had to be done before someone innocent got hurt. Let's see. Sabin's gonna go bury your body. So... Rest in peace, you were with us for quite some time, and you were you were rather well trained. You did kill a war dog, I think. He suffocated. You'd been training up one day, hoping to maybe lead an army of your own, a battalion of your own, into battle. One of your own squads. Fortunately, it'll never happen.